Hi friends, happy Vlogmas. What's up everybody? It's Tiff with a little dose of magic here, back with another video. And if you're new here, welcome. You picked the perfect time to join. If you're returning, welcome back. It's good to see you. It is finally here. It's finally Vlogmas. I, at the beginning of my uh, YouTube journey back in April, I didn't know if I'd be uh, ready to join the craziness just because of work and, you know, life. But I decided, you know what? We're going to do it. We are going to do Vlogmas, even if I miss a day or two because, you know, retail. It gets crazy. Need I say more? If I miss a day or two, we're still going to have fun. So, it is day one, and I thought today, we're just going to do a couple of things. It's not going to be too long of a video, but I'm going to kind of give you the lowdown. So I've got a bunch of fun stuff planned for this month. Got a couple of mystery openings. Not too heavy on those. Got a DIY. I'm excited to actually do a craft on this channel. I love to craft and to paint. I, I paint and draw. And I haven't really gotten to explore that much on the channel. So, I'm excited to kind of get into that area of my life a little bit. And I might actually take y'all to work with me one day. I haven't decided. I don't know if that... I've got to find out if that's going to be allowed. If not, then I have a backup for that day. So, either way, you'll, you'll get a video for the day that I'm thinking. But, I, I've got to find out if that's going to be allowed. I don't see a problem with it. But, you know, you never know what management's going to want you to do. And what they're not going to want you to do. I have a bunch of fun local things. Some in my immediate town. And then some in, because we live in the DFW area. And so, some in the Metroplex. And... I'm super excited about those. So, you're going to get a bunch of fun stuff from me this month. Even if we don't post every single day, you're going to get a bunch of fun stuff. So, I'm excited. So, just buckle up, Buttercup, because it's going to be a fun ride. And now that that is out of the way, I want to talk about traditions. My family is not what you would call a traditional family very much. My... Mom and I kind of are. We like our, we like our, our, our norm, our traditions. My dad, let me tell you, that man likes to mix it up. See, my dad is not a very traditional person. That man don't like tradition. He doesn't like things being the exact same. He does not do routine very well. So, he likes to mix things up. And we do have... We do have a few things that we do. You know, Mom and I go Black Friday shopping every year without fail. We go to Meemaw's. Well, actually, we were doing Meemaw's for Christmas, and then we started doing Mom and Dad's. But I kind of took it over last year, so Christmas is now at my house, which I'm excited about. I love hosting. I don't get to do it enough. And one of, our, one of my favorite traditions that my dad started... He absolutely hated Christmas morning and Christmas presents, and I'll tell you why. He loves giving people gifts, and he loves opening gifts. But his feeling was that it took, you know, you spent all this time buying a gift and wrapping them, and then in 30 minutes, it's all over. You know, because everybody just rips in, and it's done. So, he got the bright idea. How many years have we been doing this now? Maybe. Maybe since about 2015. I want to say somewhere in that area. Since, since, since about 2015, every Christmas morning, when we're doing just our family's thing before, you know, the rest of the family gets here, he makes up a game. It's never the same game. It will never be the same game because that is not how he rolls. One year it was dice. And we were sitting around the table and this person would roll and this person would roll. 
And whoever rolled the highest number got to go and go get their present. And everybody waited until they opened. And that one was fun. That was one of the first ones we did, I think. And then, like, last year, I can't remember all of the details, but we would draw cards. And whoever had the highest one would go. I th something like that. And then the, each one of us had a number on our presents. And so, whatever the number was, like, we draw a card. No, we answered a trivia question. That's right. We had to answer a trivia question. Whoever got the trivia question, question right, we'll draw a card. And whatever number coincided with that card, then they opened that present. So, like, if they drew a one of spades, they opened one. If they drew a, a ten of clubs, they opened. I think we had, like... Between me, Mom, Dad, and Corey, and Zach buying for each other, I think we had about 12 presents a piece or something like that. And then, like, one of them, I think, like, the Joker was you didn't open a present. You picked somebody else's present for them to open. And we would just keep, I mean, if you drew, you know, that number that you'd already opened, of course, you just drew again. But it was so much fun. It's always a blast when he... You know, because you never know what that man's going to come up with. It's crazy the amount of thought that it feels like it takes them. But it really doesn't take him that long to come up with these games. So, that is that's probably my favorite family tradition that we do every year. I I love it. I can never wait to, to start see what the game is. And I know Mom and, and the boys can't either. Yeah, we give Dad a hard time because he doesn't like tradition, but it's fun. And he is kind of traditional in the fact that there's no tradition to it. I mean, he just, whatever game he thinks of that year, that's what we're doing. So, who knows what it'll be this year. I No idea, and I'm not even going to try to speculate or to guess. So, that and then one of our other traditions is actually kind of a Thanksgiving tradition. I mean, it's not really so much anymore, but back before... A lot of places were opening on Thanksgiving. We would have what I call the traditional Thanksgiving day at Dr. Pepper hunt. And we would go out and me and dad would try to find a Dr. Pepper for me and mom. Back when she was still drinking sodas. Er, and could drink sodas. And before racetrack became a thing and was open, you know, 24-7. So that was another one that was kind of fun. I mean, we did it every year. So it kind of it was one of those traditional, non-tradition, you know, you just did it. wasn't really anything considered a tradition, but it was, it was fun. And, yeah, so those are some of our family traditions. What are some of yours? Let me know in the comments. I would love to hear some of y'all's traditions. And welcome to Vlogmas. I hope you're ready to have some fun because it's going to be a blast. So, goodbye.